were not meant to collide from the start But who could foresee the fall? Maybe it's time to decide what to do with the fact that it happens to us all long time since I filmed and posted a video and I wanted to film this now because I wanted to give you guys an insight into what's been going on in my life for the past ten and a half months um, and kind of just like kind of dip my toes back into the into the water of YouTube so to begin this I'm just gonna say that there wasn't a moment in time where I decided like I don't want to film videos anymore like there wasn't a moment where I was just YouTube is over for me I'm done this is a chapter of my life I'm closing um, it was actually the opposite of that. I was at Mount St. Helens when I filmed my last video with my Uncle Mike and my mom, and I was planning on filming another video like weeks later. I was ready, I was excited, and then I just never did. And mental health has been something that I've been working on the past year, something that I've been more addressing recently, but something I wanted to bring up in this video um, just to explain a bit of what's been going on in my life for those who are interested. Um, and I've included some clips in the beginning of this video to show some of the things that I've been doing while I've been gone. I have filmed a little bit on and off, like when I've been places. I went to Hawaii in October, which was beautiful, and my parents and I went together to explore the landscape and really help the ecotourism and see the animals, and it was, it was wonderful, it was beautiful. It was a much needed, not a escape from life, but a much needed like refresher for my passions because the environment is huge for me. And I got to see a big wake up call when I was over there. Um, and so I've included some clips of some beautiful places I went to just because I knew that even though I wasn't filming a YouTube video with my camera that I wanted you guys to see what I was seeing the best that I could. Um, so yeah, and then um, yeah, the past 10 months have been a roller coaster for sure. Um, some of the good things that have been going on is that my friendship with Sophie, my best friend, I met her just like a month before I filmed my last video, um, and she has been the best thing that's ever happened to me. Our friendship has saved both of us in more ways than we can count, and um, she's like my other half for sure. I know it sounds very cheesy, like young girl friendship, best friends, but I truly feel like our connection is just beyond what words can describe. Like she is my platonic soulmate for life and I'm so grateful for her and all of our amazing memories. We've gone some amazing places and we're going to some more amazing places this summer, which I will definitely be showing. Um, and that's just been amazing. It's been wonderful. And I've been really appreciative and grateful to have her in my life the past year and to make this past year 
so much easier than it would have been without her, you know? Um, I feel like having a friend that really supports you and understands you is so, so I cannot talk, is so important when you're dealing with mental health issues. Um, so yeah, to kind of dive into that, um, mental and physical health have been going on in my life for the past year. I didn't really realize it um, a year ago, but I wasn't addressing a lot of things going on in my life and I've been through some events in my life in the past few years that I kind of was pushing under the surface. Um, one of the physical things was my vitamin deficiencies. I hadn't got my blood drawn in a while because of COVID, because of, you know, multiple other reasons, just being busy and um, I eat a plant-based lifestyle and plant-based lifestyles can provide you with as much nutrients and as many vitamins as you need. Um, I think honestly plant-based lifestyles provide more vitamins that you need. Um, but I have not been following like the diet I need to be when it comes to like full meals of fruits and veggies and eating like raw foods that are not overcooked and processed and things like that. I obviously live a very um, privileged lifestyle and so I definitely kind of give into those privileges of like fast food sometimes. And so my vitamin deficiencies have been huge and I am very deficient in B12 and vitamin D. Um, I got a, my blood drawn recently because uh, my physical health was having some symptoms that I could not, I couldn't not not address them. And so I basically went in and they discovered that I'm very low in those and then I also just need to be supporting my overall well-being, my mental and physical health with some supplements, which I love supplements, I love herbs, I love anything that's related to the earth that helps your body. I just hadn't had the motivation to really stick to a supplemental routine until now, until I was literally told by my naturopathic doctor, like, this is much needed. And so I'm on quite a bit of supplements now. I take quite a few every day and I've been doing it for the past couple weeks. Um, and I love it. I really love it. I haven't seen like immense results yet. It takes some time for your vitamins to like be dissolved, <laughs> dissolved, <laughs> to be dissolved into your system. But um, hopefully soon I'll be seeing some differences and I am just appreciative that I can take them and that I can stick to my routine now. Um, and then speaking of routines, my mental health has been a big thing I've been working on and I have moments of severe anxiety and depression and things like that that I haven't really addressed before. I kind of pushed it under the surface and this was like a time in my life where I can't not address it anymore because I want to be a very productive and successful individual. I really want to be involved in conservation. I really want to be proud of who I am in a couple of years and to do that I need to be proud of who I am now. And so um, I won't dive too deep into it right now. I definitely could talk about it going forward. But right now in my life, um, I am starting therapy. I've started my first appointment I had yesterday, actually, and it went fantastic. And I have another one next week. And um, yeah, I'm just beginning the therapy journey, which is much needed. And I'm very grateful that I can do that. Um, I'm like a naturopathic therapist type holistic path. That's what I'm trying to stick to. So um, yeah, that's, that's starting. That's, that's the beginning right now is the, the therapy. Um, and yeah, I'm just kind of trying to address my mental health more and my motivation and my ability to connect with myself, connect with the world around me. I, I, I felt pressure, I think in, from myself to project a certain image onto social media because I know that when I'm positive, you're positive, or if I give like a certain message out, like other people will take that and they will feel the energy of it. And so I didn't want to give out the energy of like, I'm really struggling. I'm having a really hard time with like trauma and memories and focusing myself in the moment, focusing on one thought at a time. Like I wanted my videos to be very cohesive and beautiful and like the music to be very calm because my mind was just not calm, you know, just tons of thoughts all the time. And so finally now I've realized like I don't need to project an image other than the one that I am experiencing, my real true existence experience, you know. And so I'm very grateful that I've come to that conclusion, especially this early on into my mental health journey. Um, but I have struggled for a long time with mental health since I was around 13. And I really did have a mentality of like self-help. Like I can help myself and I can do this by myself. And if you need to do that, if you need to do things by yourself, absolutely do it. Focus on yourself, use those self-help techniques, do it. But I realized I just can't, I need some extra help. So supplements, naturopathic medicine, and therapy are my lifelines right now. And um, they've been really, really great so far. So yeah, it's been a, it's been a journey. Um, I think I stopped filming because I stopped 
wanting to pretend that I was okay and I didn't want to put an image out on the internet that I wasn't okay at that time. I really thought like I needed to put out a happier, better image and so I just stopped filming. Um, and yeah, now it's not, it's not like that anymore. I'm definitely better and I'm getting better every day. And my physical health is improving as I'm eating better and I'm supporting my body with supplements. My mental health is getting better the more I'm talking about my experiences and the trauma I've experienced. And so I'm just, I'm looking forward to the whole journey and the healing process, you know? So sorry, it's been eight minutes, but the point of all of that was I'm back. Hi, I'm here. Um, I can't promise anything when it comes to videos and filming. Um, I want to promise myself that I'm going to put as much energy as I can into filming again and getting motivated again to be involved. But, um, you know, I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself. This is just dipping my toes back in the water. I am going to Colorado to see my aunt and I'm going with my mom and my uncle. We're taking, well, my mom and I are taking a train all the way from Portland to Sacramento and from Sacramento all the way to Denver, Colorado. It's about a 30 hour train ride from Sacramento to Denver. So me and my mom are going to meet my uncle Mike at the train station. He'll pick us up because he's flying in to meet us. Um, and yeah, we're going, we're going to Denver. We're going to Colorado and Glenwood Springs and we're going to have a great time. So that's going to be the end of this month. So I will film that the best of my abilities. And I'm really looking forward to just jumping back into YouTube and um, kind of taking you along this healing process. Like what my day looks like taking supplements and supporting my mental health and focusing on myself and also my goals going forward because I am also diving into my career. I turned 18. I'm turning 19 in a couple of months. And um, I'm beginning a career in conservation and journalism and environmental research. And it's a whole process because of studies and internships and volunteer opportunities around the world. But I'm going to be looking into doing as many of them as possible. Um, so, yeah. Uh, welcome to this new chapter of my life. I, I, I won't say that welcome back to everything it's been because things are very different. But um, welcome to what it's going to be and what it's becoming right now. And if you would like more updates, I'm probably going to give more in-depth mental health updates on my Instagram just because I can really write things out and I'm, I'm better with writing than I am speaking. Um, so my Instagram is powerfully page, powerfully underscore page. You don't have to check me out there, but if you'd like to, you can. I think most of you are from my Instagram. So hi, <laughs> welcome. And um, yeah, this is already going on for forever. So I apologize, but I will see you in the next video. And Thank you for welcoming me back and thank you for supporting me during this whole process and kind of letting me take it at my own pace. And um, I'm really looking forward to hopefully expanding my channel and involving this in my career with wildlife around the world. So yeah, thank you. Bye.